what was going to happen in five or 10 years, which was inevitable, which is the internet domination. It's happening in a couple of years. years. The cost of advertising is at an all time high, right? Inflation has been skyrocketing. 9% and inflation rate was reported recently. So it's happening. Right? There's, there's a lot of like demand for, obviously, uh, these platforms are getting a lot of people trying to advertise on them and cost has gone up. The world has transitioned over to the digital mostly. Uh, the traditional marketing has lost a lot of strength over the last couple of years because of COVID. Uh, we don't have magazines being printed as much. We don't have radios actually being utilized as much. It's, it's been like a massive acceleration. What was going to happen in five or 10 years, which was inevitable, which is the internet domination. It's happening in a couple of years, which is something that I predicted as soon as uh, COVID became a massive widespread phenomena. So my recommendation is that you build social media following because when you build a social media following, you can literally turn off your advertising and you can still generate revenue. For example, in Natural Slim, we spend for every $1 that we spend on advertising, we get to generate $10 or $12 back. You cannot get that if you don't have content being produced at scale. For Dr. Berg, Dr. Berg is generating many, many, many millions of dollars a month, and we spend very little money on advertising. And that's because our content is so widespread and so deep that people are still looking for our stuff because we have the number one commodity that we all need to be able to grow a business, and that is attention. So in the world of advertising, if you want to compensate the higher cost of advertising, if you want to build a brand that is sustainable, even when platforms change, you got to go into the content game. And the content game is not that complicated, but you do need dedication to put the content out there and a team to get that content adjusted for the different platforms and edited for the different like messages. And that's the key. So you will need a content creator. For those of you guys that don't have a content creator, you don't have a personal brand, you don't want to be a personal brand, you don't want to get in front of the camera, well, you either hire somebody to do so and pay them well for them to become that person. It's not ideal because they don't have the same passion that the founder has ever, right? Like you're never going to find somebody in AGM marketing that is so passionate about talking to people about marketing like I am because I'm the founder. So, but if you want to have a plan in place, you should definitely hire somebody to get it done or you should get into that knowing that at some point, the Dr. Burrs of the world, the Frank Stars of the world had nothing. They had no content created. They have nothing going on and they created the first piece of content. And just like riding a bike, it gets better with time. Creating content is like building a muscle as you you know, get those repetitions going. You start getting those muscles over the long haul. It doesn't happen overnight, but you get better with time. The same thing happens with creating content. You get better with time. And if you believe in your value and you believe in your ability to influence others, there are massive organic opportunities today to reach people that don't require you to pay advertising dollars to these platforms. And I still predict that these opportunities will be around for the next few years. TikTok, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, podcasts, episodes that you can launch basically for free. You have opportunities to capture free media that 25 years ago was only a dream. For example, if you wanted to have a podcast in the 1980s or 1990s, the only way that you can get it done was through something called radio. And you had to pay to be a part of a radio. And you had to run commercials. You had to do all those things. Now it's not the same thing. Like you can go to a place like anchor.fm, A-N-C-H-O-R.fm, and you can click on a few buttons and you have your own podcast. Congratulations. And that is being searched for every single day across industries. So there's other opportunities out there that, like I said towards the beginning of this interview earlier, all you got to do is look. Those people that look find incredible things. If you don't look, if you agree with, oh my God, the economy, oh my God, inflation, oh, it's just because this world is falling apart and recession and I knew what it was going to happen. You're going to miss out on opportunities. I had a friend of mine, a good friend of mine that we're building a brand together. His name is Steven Anderson. Uh, he was talking the other day. We we're having a meeting and he said, look, entrepreneurship is recession proof. It's such a powerful statement and so true. Entrepreneurship is recession proof if you actually look for opportunities it doesn't matter what condition this planet is in it doesn't matter what's happening with the economy opportunities will continue to present themselves for those people that are looking for these opportunities and they can put the energy into 
implementing these opportunities. So look for yours and get it executed. Find something that works for your brand and your business overall, and you will discover quite incredible things. If you just decide to start looking for these, let's go. If you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and subscribe. Help me comment below and let me know if you have any questions about marketing. And I, I'm on a mission to help as many of you as possible conquer the marketing world. So help me out. Subscribe, hit that button, hit that bell, get notified. Go ahead and subscribe right now.